Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Tuesday, June 9th, daily currency levels for the British pound crosses. No major news on the calendar today. Looking at our first pair yesterday, uh, again, Monday, first day of the week, we've been in a sustained downtrend. On our daily chart, we can see the market was an inside bar yesterday, so we've moved down below the 8250 level, gone into consolidation. Inside bar yesterday, bear candle. And so far, still an inside bar. We talked about the potential for this market to continue. And there are stops or technical levels around the 7950, 1.7950 level. There is a gap from back in August. And the market, uh, if it proceeds to go down to that lower 250 pip level, will fill that gap. And this market could still end up doing an extension of that move and taking out the overall lows from July 9, 2019, but currently again consolidating underneath the 8250 level. When we look at our four hour chart, again we can see that consolidation the market pushed up briefly yesterday, pinning traders who were short from last week's pin hammer just above the 8250 level. Auction before auctioning down, creating a, a two push pattern with Possibly a middle structure with a reverse bullpen. And if the market was to break back above that, we still have our falling trend line, which has been over the last couple of months. On our 15 minute chart, we can see that the market yesterday pushed up three levels before selling off into the open of the Europe session. <clears throat> Today, after taking out uh, yesterday, it uh, took out that second push into the extra three hour window and then rallying back to stop traders out who were short in that London window and then coming back down with one push, two push, possibly a one, two, three into the low of last night's breakout. When we look at today's market, we can see the market uh, in Asia moved up 50 pips in a one, two, three pinning traders who were short last night before pulling back and consolidating. And as we head into this extra three hour window now we're headed towards possibly taking out the highs of the first 12 candle window so we're inside of a 50 pip box currently between 8200 and 8150 if the market was to continue to move higher and break through the 8200 level we can move towards monday's high of the day and friday's high of the day we are still in a downtrend but the market uh, currently is moved up 50 pips pulled back and Testing the highs again, we could see a third level, possibly a break to stop hunt traders from yesterday before rolling over and retesting the lows of Asia. So currently, again, we're inside of a 50 pip box. A 50 pip stop hunt up top would take us to yesterday's high. If we were to break back inside or come off the double zeros, we could retest the lows of the week down at 8100. Next up is our pound Canadian. And again, on our daily chart, we can see that this market's still moving sideways just around the 1.7 thousand level. Pins on both sides, stops above the highs of the week from last week at 71.20, and of course the lows of last week at 68.50. Our four hour chart, we can see again that consolidation tightening up right around the 7,000 level, median price being 7,000. When this market breaks out of this consolidation, we could get a big move. And again, if we come back and look at our move down, we could see this market continue that move down. But if it was to break to the north again, we could see a big explosive move to the upside if it was to break north as well. On our 15 minute chart, we can see that yesterday the market three pushes into the peak before breaking down below the 7050 level and then trading down below Friday's low of the day and then pulling back and trading back up through the double zeros in the US session. We have stops above the 7050 level and of course we have stops below the 7000 triple zero level. Currently trading sideways around 7025 We've extended the Asian range. If the market was to come back above that middle peak around 70, 
30, we could certainly retest the highs and resume that move in the upward direction to test the highs of yesterday. But currently, again, we're in a 50 pip box, trading between 7050 and 7000. Next up is our pound Swiss. Gain this pair on our daily chart, we can see the market briefly moved up and took out the highs of last month and yesterday had a consolidated day with an inside bar still trading un underneath of the highs of April and we're currently just sitting up top market uh, is poised to move one way or the other we had a, we had that expansion of the pullback last week into the upper 250 pip box we've pinned the upper level above 2250 before pulling back and consolidating We've already done a 100% expansion of that pullback, still respecting the rising trend line. But again, a break either way could again continue a strong move. When we look at our 15 minute chart, we'll just scrunch this up a little bit, tighten this up. We can see that the market moved lower yesterday, did not take out the higher low of Friday. We're still currently trading inside of that range underneath of the 2200 and above 2150 so we're in a 50 pip box sort of moving back and forth around 2175 market is just protecting that tight little consolidation just briefly dropping below 2175 if we move back above that swing high and hold above 2175 we should get a retest above 2200 and a retest of yesterday's highs that was a strong move coming up into the end of the week again we're, we're underneath the double zeros we could get a, a pushback above 2175 for a retest of the lows of yesterday next up is our pound yen and again on our daily chart we can see this market uh, has pulled back briefly below the 3750 level after going 123 to the high just underneath 140 this is a, a breakout trade currently but we could also have a 123 back inside of that range but we've broken out had a one one day pullback and just taken out the lows of yesterday again this market uh, had a fairly explosive move and traders uh, who are shorting this market would be in the market as we've triggered yesterday's low on our four hour chart we can see that move down one two sideways three four below 3750 there's room on both sides for this market to move but we've broken through that lower 250 pip box below 3750 if this market was to continue to show weakness we could move down to 3500 fairly quickly there's not a lot to stop this from breaking lower we have stops below the swing low last week, just below the 3600 level. On our 15 minute chart, we can see that move down from Asia this morning, aggressively going and taking out the lows of yesterday. From yesterday's peak high, we have one push down, two pushes down, and possibly a one, two, three. We're still below yesterday's low. We've had a breakout of that range, but we could get a pull back inside of this range and a retest of today's high for a move back in the upward direction but currently we're breaking we've broken out we've made new lows but again there are stops above the swing highs above 3766 and depending on how this market trades in Europe we could get a retest of that high for a move down or a retest of this pullback inside of that 3725 level for a break higher and a move back up towards the high of the day pound New Zealand gain this market is in a sustained downward move we've traded below the 9500 level yesterday testing it briefly before continuing that move down we've pulled back inside so far today of the low back in December but again when we move this chart closer and take a big look this market still could continue to fall there are there is lots of room for this market to continue to trend down. On our four hour chart, we can see that retest of 9,500 before dropping down and consolidating. There's a bear pin hammer on a one, two, three. 
Markets moved sideways and engulfed a little bull hammer. So again, interesting times. Uh, this ec extra extended range can be a very challenging level, but 9,500 so far has shown an area of selling above there. On our 15-minute chart, we can see that this morning in Asia, we've taken out the swing high, the last swing high, before pulling back, and the market moved again above that swing high. We could have a one push and possibly a two push pattern forming. We could get three pushes to a peak for a retest of the low, possibly in the US session. But currently, we have one push above the low, lowest high before the low this set. Uh, low of the week is fairly flat so again we could see three pushes up for a retest of the low of the day and a continuation of that downward trend if the market was to break uh, oops above the highs and continue to move we could see a retest of yesterday's sell-off at the Europe open which would bring that market 75 pips above where it is right now and at that point we could see a continuation of this move upwards but again uh, 25 to 50 pips takes us above the U.S. session highs, if we had three push patterns, we could retest the low of the day. And lastly, our British pound. Again, we saw the market pull back, selling off yesterday before pulling back towards the end of the session and breaking above the breakout level from April, the high of month of April, and currently trading below the 2750 level, but outside of the uh, rectangle formed from April's high and the low back in May. On our four hour chart, we can see the market still respecting the, the rising trend line, pushing up towards the 2750 level before pulling back and going one, two, three, and dropping down. So, no evidence of this market so far necessarily uh, reversing. We have a breakout pullback, one, two, three, to the 2750 level. And a pullback from there, if this market does break through 27.50, we could see that continuation and possibly a measured move of that range expansion. On our 15-minute chart, we can see that move after breaking the trend line yesterday, retesting upwards into the open this morning, pinning the high above 27.50, and then pulling back and dropping below the 27.25 down to the 27.00 numbers. So we're currently on top of the breakout from last night's US session. We'll just draw a little sphere here. Depending on how the market uh, trades at 2700, we could see this extend a stop hunt and pull back above 2700 for a continuation of that move up or a pull back towards the 2725 level and possibly a sell back down to the US session swing lows as well as possibly even the low of the day yesterday. But currently trading inside of 2725 and above 2700. Just ending on a quote again from Paul Tudor Jones. And then at the end of the day, the most important thing is how good you are at risk control. 90% of any great trader is going to be the risk control. Stay disciplined traders, stay focused, stick to the simple trades, Watch the high and the low of the day. Have a great trading session, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.